Okie doke. So we are here, and we are, now that you know how the tools at the top work, let's dive in and actually start making some clothes. So I'm going to start off by making a t-shirt and a pair of pants, or shorts, depending on how this tutorial goes. So um, what we want to do is select our polygon tool, and we're going to start at our avatar's center line. Now the center line or the fold line is this line that's going straight down the middle of your avatar. This is what is going to allow us to unfold a pattern and to get uh, symmetrical like things. It makes it a lot easier. And I'll show you what I mean by that. So to make a t-shirt, we're going to zoom in on our avatar and we're going to decide how we deep we want the collar to go I like to start kind of like right here at the upper part of the chest like right where the collarbone is and we're just gonna click and then you click a dot goes um, so we are going to go straight down and this is you go down as long as you want your shirt to go I want our shirt to be fairly long so I'm gonna stop right here and then we just drag it over to right underneath the arm and then we're gonna pull it up to the arm like so and this is where you decide how long you want the sleeves to be because the t-shirt we want to keep it fairly short so I guess right here and then we're going to pull it up again a little bit higher because we want it loose if you want it really tight you would put it as close to the arm but I want the sleeves to kind of be loose and not go into the body so I like to make it a little bit bigger than the actual arm and then we're going to drag it over to the shoulder which is right here and then one more at the collar and then you meet it down back at our first line following the rules the connect the dots rules and then we have one half of our t-shirt so we are going to select the patterns edit tool and we're going to click on this middle line right here right click on it and then unfold and now we have the front of our t-shirt now we're going to delete this point that popped up as a result for that because um, well you just do it because you want to keep it nice and neat so what we're going to do next is to create the back part of our pattern and we're not going to create another t-shirt pattern because it may not be as equal as the t-shirt no matter how much we try so what we're going to do is just click on our pattern here and then go to copy and then paste and then do it that way but uh, you can also do control R or paste mirror paste this is the one here and that will give us a reverse copy of the pattern that we just made um, I like to do it sometimes but not all the time and because I don't want a dip in the back of my collar like of my back I like to select this point that's right there and then hit delete and then we got that there now if you are meh, forget it forget it forget it forget it now uh, one of the rules of Marvel's designer 2 I'm not sure if they fixed this in the later Marvel's designers but I definitely didn't in 2 is that if anything goes on the back side of your avatar back here you need to flip the pattern so that it is visible because if we were to put the pattern back here without flipping it then when we import it into Second Life it will be invisible so you would lose the back of it because the faces are still facing this way they aren't facing the right way so what you need to do and keep in your mind if it goes behind you need to flip so we're just going to click on it and then you're going to press flip horizontally and that will flip the faces in the right direction so everything behind you needs to be flipped everything in front of you is fine no it don't need to be flipped so it's fine so what we're going to do next is just bring the t-shirt pattern close to the garment, the body. We don't want it too close to it where your body is going into your body like that, but you want it close enough that uh, it doesn't have to travel along and then risk sliding down the body. So once we have it all lined up in front, it's time to start sewing. So to sew our garment together, we're going to use the 3D sewing tools, which is up here. Uh, it's called the segment sewing. There is also free sewing, but I never got the swing of it. Um, so I always use segment sewing because it's a lot easier. I'm sure free sewing is like probably the business, but I never mastered it. So please bear with me. So we're just going to select segment sewing and we're going to put our mouse on the edge of the pattern. And when you see it on the edge, it actually starts to light up. So we're just going to click on that and then drag your mouse over to another edge and you'll see these lines form so when you click these uh, lines will show up like this now we're going to do the same thing right here just click 
and then go. Don't worry about the colors. The colors don't mean anything. They're just there to look pretty. So, um, don't worry if they're different colors than what mine is showing. That didn't sound good. Hang on one second. Uh, sorry about that. The washing machine got away and knocked over something in its process. So, um, let's get back to sewing. So you want to make sure that your lines are nice and straight like this. Let's say we clicked on the edge like this, uh, the edge of our garment, and we clicked it, and the lines twisted up like this. This is a no-no. You definitely do not want to make your lines crooked. Because what this is telling Marvel's designer is to take this edge of the garment, that edge together of the garment, bring it together at the center, and then start twisting it up. And that can cause a lot of errors in your garment. You want to always make sure that your lines are nice and straight like this because it tells Marvel Designer, bring this edge together, bring that edge together, and then stick. So that's what you want. So if your lines are crooked like this, you can um, fix it in two ways. If you just did it, you can press Control z and undo it, then click it again and make the line straight. Or if it is too far gone and the lines are twisted you can just select the what is this button here the edit seam line button click on right click on your edge the, the lines here if I can do it <clears throat> there we go and with the line selected you want to press reverse seam line or control B and it'll straighten out your lines so we are just going to sew down this garment Make sure all the lines are straight, like so. Come on, you, so. All right, that's straight, that's straight. And do the same thing over here. You wanna make sure that you leave the important things open, like, you know, arm holes and body holes. You don't wanna sew that together. So once all those are sewn, we can move this over. Now, you can see how it's going to pull together when the lines are there. And you can see that our sleeve here is going to go through or on top of the body. So I just want to grab our pattern tool and just drag it down a little bit so that it's not going through the body. So it should, you know, the line should be underneath the arm. So once that's done, we, just gonna, we are just going to press the play button. And you see we have a t-shirt right there just that quick now remember earlier when I was talking about the curvature button the edit curve or add a curve um, I'm gonna show you what I meant by that earlier so I'm gonna take our edit pattern tool and I'm gonna delete this dot that's right here for our collar and I'm gonna take our edit curve tool and we're just gonna drag it down and it's gonna give me more of a t-shirt e pattern there see that looks a lot better than the point that was there before so that's what I like to use the edit curve for you can do the same thing for your t-shirts if you want it to have that sort of rounded bottom if you want or uh, maybe even I don't know what it looks like when you pull it up but <laughs> I guess like that half top oh it's too big um, don't worry if you have some skin pushing through you can just grab the edit pattern tool and you can pull on it and it'll usually pop over the skin uh, but if not we can just edit that in blender it's not a really big deal so don't worry about it so um, what we want to do now is assign a material to our avatar I mean our avatar our, our garment a t-shirt here so I'm gonna click each side well click on this one then hold down shift and click on the back and I'm gonna go over to fabric and assign it a color when you assign a garment a color you're giving it its own material slot uh, in blender so that will save you some time with mm -hmm. that'll save you some time in case you're making a garment that has uh, multiple layers speaking of layers we're going to now need to make a pair of pants because we can't just walk around with a t-shirt although you know I'm sure we could in some places but no no, no. t-shirt and pants so now we have our shirt, we're going to do the same thing and make a pair of pants. So we're going to grab our polygon tool and we're going to start to however high you want the shirt, the shorts, <clears throat> the pants to be. So I usually start like at the belly button and if it's too high I lower it or if it's too low uh, um, I pull it down. 
So let's start at the belly button and then go down just at the crotch. Then we're going to make a, I like to go backwards L shape into the here. And then you just, just make it as, you make this line as long as you want your pants. If you want them to be shorts, you would just stop wherever you want the shorts to go. But we're going to make some pants, so let's bring it all the way down as far as we can. Then you're going to go over and then up to the hip. Then up to back to where uh, the first dot is, like, and then we connect, like so. Whoops. And we just right click and rearrange the pattern so it snaps back. So just like the t-shirt, we are going to click on the middle edge, the middle center line, and then hit unfold. And now we have a pair of pants. Now before we go over and duplicate, we're going to clean this up a little bit. We're going to delete the center fold line that's here. And we're also going to delete this middle line that is here in the crotch. Now you may be wondering, why are you deleting that line? Why do you have to delete it? Well, you technically don't have to delete it. But if you do leave it as is, that's more sewing for you. Because then you'll have to sew this part and this part when you just can sew this one part right here. So that's why I say get rid of that middle line. So now we have it all cleaned up. We're just going to copy and then paste. And then we have a pair of pants. So right click and flip it because it has to go behind it. And we're going to do the same thing like we did with the t-shirt. And then just sew it together. Now if you have a hard time grabbing the edges because it's too close. You can actually make this as far back as you want. You just got to bring it closer to the avatar when uh, it comes to syncing it up. So let's keep on sewing. And we're going to make us some pants. Alright, so, wow, that was quick, wasn't it? I was like, oh, well, we still got sewing, and, uh, nope, everything's all sewn together. So, now that it's sewn together, we're just going to move it close to the body, like so. And you always want to pull pants up a little bit higher than they're supposed to go, because they slide down, or they collide over the butt, and they go onto the floor. So, I always say, make sure your pants are a little bit higher, because you can always pull them down. It's a pain to pull them back up. So, um, once you have it aligned, we're going to press play, and we have our pants. Now, there is a problem with these pants right here. As you can see, they overlap onto, um, they're overlapping our t-shirt right now. Now, if that's what you want, you want the shirt tucked into the pants, then you can stop right here. You're good. But if you want the t-shirt to overlay the pants, then we meet need to make some adjustments and this is where layering comes into play um, so what I want to do is select our t-shirt pattern and we're just going to click on those two parts that make up our t-shirt there's the front and here's the back um, and we're going to go to the fabric tab down here and we're going to scroll all the way down to you see etc or ECT and then you're going to see a little box that says layer uh, the higher the layer, the more on top the garment is, the lower the layer, the more tucked under it is. So if we, everything is currently on the same layer, um, uh, is zero, so that's why it's fighting each other like that. Um, if we want the t-shirt to be on top, we're just going to change the zero into a one, and you see our t-shirt pops out of the pants, and you see it's overlaying the pants. Now, something else I forgot to mention while we were doing this is that if you are the kind of person, because, you know, when you start designing a whole bunch of clothes, the patterns get all crazy and you wonder what pattern goes to what. You can actually name your pattern so you know which one is what. So uh, let's click on our front layer, which is the front part of our shirt right here, and we're going to click it back to the basic tab. Then we're going to press the info button and you're going to see where it says name. We can actually change the name, like if you click on that, you can change it to front t-shirt and hit enter and it's been changed. But it's not showing up because you have to right click on your 2D space and you need to check the box, the 
thing that says show pattern name and then you'll see front t-shirt and then you can click on that and name it back t-shirt uh, I'm assuming that's the front of the pants front pants and uh, bottom pants or uh, back pants so now you have everything layered so you can give this away but this is this pattern this pet pattern without losing yourself there all right so last thing we need to do it excuse me I'm so sorry um, last thing we need to do is assign a material color to the pants because that makes things a lot easier and we're going to make these black because so far in these tutorials pants have been black shirts been red except for this instance where it's purple um, and that's pretty much it your clothes are done when we go to blender and you need to look at the UV matte thing for this for texture your stuff it will look just like this so you want to make sure that before you export you don't have textures overlaying your your uh, patterns overlaying each other like this you want to make sure that they have their own space because sometimes it goes wrong where let's say you want it to assign a texture a material for the front of the dress I mean dress thinking about the next class I want to do okay let's say you want a t-shirt with two textures on the front where you want the front and the back to have their own texture sometimes that works sometimes it doesn't um, sometimes you may need to select this t-shirts UV and give it its own um, material separately um, and then to do that you want to make sure that you have enough space between them that you can easily box select and blender so that's why I always tell people when you are arranging your UV maps make sure you give yourself a little select space like so and so it's not grouped together too tightly where you would be selecting part of that pattern we are trying to select this pattern so we have everything all cleaned up we have our t-shirt and we have our pants and now we can export everything and then take it in the blender and then start rigging so what we're going to do now is export our garment for rigging and you do that by going file then export then obj and you're going to navigate to the project folder which for once is not on my desktop uh... beef frog bunnies all right, so what I'm going to do here is name this T-shirt and pants. And then we're just going to press CM, I think. I would say, yeah, CM maybe. Um, unified coordinates, remove collapsed cloth. And you just want to make sure that the cloth shape is selected. And we're going to hit OK. Now, just to make sure that CM was the right one, I'm going to make um, another one. And I'm just going to press M and a big capital M. And I'm going to export it as M, just to be sure. <laughs> Alright, so, um, just in case CM wasn't the right thing to check. Alright, so, that's it. Our clothes has been exported. We have our UV maps here. We have our clothes done here. We can save the project so we can come back to it later. So you want to hit file, save as, and then project. And then uh, once again, navigate to it. I'm just going to save it on my desktop. And I'm going to name it bunny clothes one. Okay. And then you're good. So now we can close this and then go over to Blender. So that's what happens. I'll see you guys over in Blender.